I've neatened up the patch a little bit, um, but ultimately it's exactly the same as how I left it. Uh, looping is on, um, and so is the uh, uh, DSP, uh, but uh, as I play, obviously, if I want to trigger it, I need to turn that on. Um, on the right-hand side, the right-hand inlet of uh, SF Play is a speed input. Uh, so this is a means by which you can uh, transpose sounds um, that, uh, that, are, that are playing in SF Play. And um, if I... Uh, I think I'm, I've got on my own at the moment. I'm, no, I don't want that. I'll, let's put in a, a more appropriate sound. Uh, sounds. I'll drag in something that's actually going to be obvious in terms of. There we go. Um, and it's looping, so it'll just keep playing that. Um, so if I want to um, have it play back at, at normal speed, um, I I need to um, send it a one message. Um, if I send it a two message, it plays back at twice that speed. Uh, so it's an octave above, as you can hear. Um, and uh, and four, four times will be uh, four octaves, uh, sorry, two octaves above as well. Um, and uh, obviously you send a... <laughs> Notice we get a sort of aliasing effect as we change the pitch, which is kind of nice. And then obviously if we go below one, uh, to 0.5 at half speed, so it's not a good delay. So um, the the you know the speed is is quite a, a handy uh, handy control. Um, we can look at the uh, the line object that we looked at earlier in order to effect a a, a smooth glissando or a portamento. Um, so if I make uh, a line object, connect that to here. Pull it out a little bit so we've got a bit more room. Um, and then I can send it a message. Remember the line uh, format. Um, if you want it to start at a particular point, so if I want to start it at, at one, one speed, so normal speed, then I'd put a comma, so it will go there immediately. It'll go to one immediately, and then I can tell it to go to a particular destination over a particular period of time. So I could say uh, transpose to eight times that speed over, uh, I don't know, uh, three seconds. And we'll try that. So, jumps to... Okay, that jumps to one speed and, uh, um, and, and then, then carried on uh, sort of counting up to eight. You notice that it wasn't a smooth transition though, um, and that's because it was counting in integers, and we would like it to count in floats. So uh, you might remember that if you, uh, for example, that with a, um, a, a multiplication object, if you want it to count in floats, floating point, you need to put a zero point in, um, and then it will recognize that whatever's coming in is a floating point, or to convert the numbers it receives to floating points so it can do the calculation accurately. Um, so we need to do the same with a, with a line object. Get rid of that. And now it will jump back to one and then count smoothly to eight over three seconds. Okay. So, and we could do that without any sound, obviously. Um, let's try a vacuum. No, vacuum cleaner has a glissando on it anyway. Uh, Water pool. Let's try that. Anyway, you get the idea. Um, so you can do, you know, you can do some uh, some pitch effects in um, to your uh, apply pitch effects to your sound.